the Detroit Lions, and more specifically Ben Johnson, just received the ultimate compliment. And I'm not talking about a writer from the national media, the local media. I'm not even talking about a player. I'm talking about the Detroit Lions coaching staff getting the ultimate compliment from another coach in the league. And this is at just a crazy time in, in a crazy, crazy way. So uh, in what is all of these off-season conversations, the Detroit Lions offensive coordinator Ben Johnson is viewed as the biggest challenge by an NFL defensive coordinator. All right? Look, we all love Ben Johnson. We know that. And le- recently on the Centered on Buffalo podcast, Bill's new defensive coordinator, Bobby Babich, was asked which NFL OC was the toughest to prepare against. And with little hesitation, he answered Ben Johnson. He said, it's funny. We were just having this conversation today. What That's that's the funny thing. Like, who is the hardest person? And then he goes on and they ask him that question. And he said, I think Detroit does a great job. And this was from years ago. They do a lot of things and they do them well, which is hard to do. Uh, this is what Babbage said. He said, that's hard to do and it's hard to prepare for. So basically what he's saying is we have an offense that's multiple. We do a ton of things, and many of those things are very, very hard to prepare for. All right, the only encounter that Babbage had against Johnson was when he was the middle linebacker coach for the Buffalo Bills, linebacker coach, I don't know why I said middle linebacker coach, in that 2022 Thanksgiving Day game between the Lions and Bills. Remember that kind of heartbreaking one? We were winning multiple games, like we had gotten on track after a really bad start to the season. This was two years ago. And then we're playing the Bills on Thanksgiving. They beat us 28 to 25. And we're like, but we're good. Like, it was like, no, we're still good. We almost just beat the Bills, right? Because they were the Super Bowl favorites that year. Josh Allen was playing really well, MVP type level. We put up 25 points in that game, and the Bills had one of the best defenses, only allowing 17.9 points per game that year. Now, Babbage is a first-time defensive coordinator, and we play them again in Week 15. I thought that was kind of fun. But I want to talk about something that goes beyond Ben Johnson, and I want to talk about this offense beyond Ben Johnson. And the compliment goes to Ben, and I get that. But I've talked about this on this channel before, so I need you to hang in here with me because I'm going to go. I went on a deep dive with stats over the three years of Dan Campbell's reign as coach of the Detroit Lions. Now, if you will remember, we started in 2021 with Ben Johnson not as the offensive coordinator, nor Dan Campbell, but instead Anthony Lynn. And if you see what happened under Anthony Lynn, the team went 0-8. Jared Goff's numbers weren't terrible, by the way. How he put up these numbers with the receivers we have, no St. Brown, no Jamison Williams, no Josh Reynolds. It was nobody. Nobody. 338 yards against, let's just click on this game against San Francisco. All right, let's just click on this game against San Francisco. Um, Sorry, it didn't go to it. These things happen. All right. These things absolutely happen. But I will tell you, and I can promise you, there was nothing going on in this game by the wide receivers for us. All right. Our leading two receivers, three receivers were DJ Hawkinson, DeAndre Swift, and Jamal Williams. Look at this. All right. St. Brown still in his very first game as a pro. Two catches, 23 yards. Khalif Raymond, three catches, 50 yards. Trinity Benson, Tyrell Williams. This is what we're throwing out at wide receiver. Quintez Cephas. All right? Nothing. And in those games, under Anthony Lynn, we scored 33, 17, 17, 14, 17, 11, 19, 6. He was then fired. Not fired, but demoted, I guess is the better way to say it. I did the math on that. That is... 16.75 16.75 points per game. That will not be successful with anyone. 
You could have some of the greatest defenses in the world and you're not winning games. Dan Campbell moved him to run game coordinator and he moved Ben Johnson to passing game coordinator. Now, here's the funny thing about that. When you look at Goff's numbers, 338, 246, 217, 299, 203, 202, 267, and 222, those are a lot of yards. When they took over play calling, it wasn't the yardage by Goff that went nuts. He never had a 300-yard game again. But under the nine games that Dan Campbell was calling the plays, the average points per game went from 16.75 to 21.2. And by the way, three of those games, Tim Boyle was the starting quarterback. In those games, we scored 10, 16, and 29 points with Boyle. If you take out the first three games as they're acclimating, the Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Chicago games, 16, 10, and 12 point, or 14 points by us, in those remaining six games of the NFL season, this team averaged 24.833 points per game. That's what it was. Then you make Ben Johnson the full-time offensive coordinator, and now in 2022, the team averaged 26.6 points per game. Fast forward to 2023, we can do this on the fly, 27.1. They've been a top five offense each of the last two years under Ben Johnson. But Dan Campbell took them from averaging 16.75 to five points more per game. And if you look at the last six games alone, it was an eight-point upswing. Ben Johnson then increased that by two points and a half a point in the next two years. What I'm trying to say in this is what Ben Johnson does that's so creative and what Ben Johnson does that's so tricky, we need to look at the man behind the man. It's Dan Campbell. He is the one allowing him to do that. There is greatness in Ben Johnson. He is very good. I've said this time and time again. There's a reason he's staying. He knows where his bread is buttered. He knows how the sauce is made, and it is, and he knows who's stirring the pot, and it's Dan Campbell behind him. There's a reason Dan Campbell has the play sheet in front of him every single game. It's not there for fun. All right, it's there because he's involved. It's there because his opinion is valued and it matters. But having Ben Johnson calling the plays absolutely has taken this to another level. But the complexities of it, the things that he's able to run with what he's learned, a lot of that comes from Dan Campbell. So the Detroit Lions just got the ultimate compliment. But I think the compliment is just as much directed at Dan Campbell as it is Ben Johnson. Tell me if you think I'm wrong. Also, tell me if you think I'm a little right. Maybe I'm just wishful thinking because I know Ben Johnson's going to get an off or a head coaching job somewhere soon, and maybe not. Maybe he's just happy being a coordinator for the next decade. I don't know. I don't know. But I think at some point the right job will come along. Until then, let's just be thankful that we have him, and let's keep rolling on a top-five offense in the NFL that I think next year with a healthy Jamison Williams and a good Jamison Williams and a second-year Jameer Gibbs in a second year, Sam Laporta, I think this offense, top five, yes. It could be one of the best offenses we've seen in recent memory. All right, thanks for watching. See you.